Okay, y'all, it is only Wednesday and the mess keeps going on and on like Erica Badu. Angelica Ross recently took to social media to talk about, you know, some of the racism that she faced on set, the transphobia that she faced on set from Emma Roberts, and also talked about being ghosted by Ryan Murphy after pitching this idea to him about an American Horror Story season starring all black women. He ghosted her for months and months on end. Let's talk about what is going on. So as usual, we will skim through an article to ground us. This is coming from the Daily Beast and the article is entitled, How Ryan Murphy Screwed Over Pose Star Angelica Ross. So after facing criticism for his antics during the ongoing Writers Guild strike, Ryan Murphy is now being called out by a former actress from one of his critically acclaimed and diverse programs. Angelica Ross called out Ryan Murphy for allegedly leaving her on red after approaching her about a potential American Horror Story season starring black women. So Angelica Ross posted several screenshots of emails between her and Murphy who appeared to ignore her after his initial pitch. So as you can see from the screenshot she posted, Ryan said to her, remember your idea about a horror seasons starring black women? Well, I'm doing it. Not sure of the story yet, but we will start a writer's room in the fall Along with you, who are the four women I should get? I think you, Kiki Palmer, Gabby, not sure of the fourth. And here, uh, Angelica Ross responds in 2020 uh, by saying, I mean, giving up a whole bunch of names. She said, Adina, um, Angela Bassett, Amaya Scott. Uh, she gives a whole, Viola Davis, Gabrielle Union, Lupita, Kerry Washington. She, she just gives a whole bunch of names. Seems like she was very excited about it. Um, in another email that I'll show here, dated February 2022, February 7th, 2022, Angelica asks Ryan Murphy if she could be on the producing side of the project. She said, after not hearing back, after sending flowers and no response, I sent one last email in February 2022 um, while still contractually in first position with the show, which means you can't work anywhere else um, or, or for another network or anything. You can't be on another show. Um, if you're in first position, mind you, Marvel had called twice. Now she had to like reject that. Obviously I haven't heard from him since. Um, and this email just says, good morning. Um, I just want to be on the producing side of this project. I think I could add a lot to the table in the overall storyline. If we are looking to do a black lead cast. So she was like, you were the one who came to me in 2020 about this idea. I'm under contract with you guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if I can say yes to Marvel or not. And y'all stringing me along since 2020. And, it, you know, she's talking about the last time she reached out was 2022. So um, following Ross's allegations, a source told The Wrap that Ryan Murphy often contemplates multiple ideas before moving forward with a premise. And it's just like, don't insult my goddamn intelligence with that bullshit. <laughs> I'm glad that Angelica responded to this in response to the article. Uh, she tweeted that the real issue was that she was forced to wait for months trying to get clarity on her employment at FX. She said this, it's not just that the idea changed, things change all the time. It's that I called business affairs for months trying to get clarity if they were picking up my contract option or if I was okay to tell Marvel that I was available for whatever they were calling me for. I had been auditioning for three years for Marvel it's that I was held in first position the whole time. Ross's outspokenness isn't exactly surprising as Murphy has emerged as uh, a much maligned anti-union figure throughout the WGA strike. Back in July, the six-time Emmy winner was widely scrutinized for continuing the production of the upcoming American Horror Story Delicate, while other major television shows stopped filming in solidarity with striking writers. He received even more backlash after The Hollywood Reporter reported that he threatened to sue former WGA strike captain Warren Light after he accused the showrunner of anti-union practices, including telling the American Horror Story crew that they would be blackballed if they joined the walkout. It seems like Murphy and FX might face even more damning accusations soon as Ross alluded that she faced transphobia and racism on one of Murphy's sets in another tweet. 
And so a lot of what she said about this involved Emma Roberts. So let's check out what she said on her lives. First, she said that Emma Roberts or ER was irritating everybody on set. So um, what I can tell you is this. Uh, there were almost every actor on the set of American Horror Story 1984 was irritated. Irritated. The thing is, is that, so, okay, the person I'm talking about is definitely uh, Miss ER. Then in the same live, I think, um, she also said that when she got on set, Emma Roberts was trying to make the director cry. Emma was uh, trying to make sure that everyone knew that she was number one on the call sheet, even though I'm just like, girl, I'm pretty sure everybody knew that walking in. Um, Angelica said she was playing mind games with people on set. She was apparently asking all the actors like how much coin they were making for the show. Uh, she wanted to make sure that no one was making more than $100,000 an episode like she was. Very, very mean girl type of shit. Um, and then lastly, Angelica said that Emma misgendered her. She goes, John, Angelica's being, Angelica's being mean. And he goes, and I know she's being, you know, she's not being for real, for real. She's just being whatever. And, and John is like, okay ladies you know that's enough let's you know like get back to work and she then looks at me and she goes she goes don't you mean lady and she turns around like this and covers her mouth and goes back here but can't see i'm looking at her dead ass in the camera like what the fuck did you just say and i'm standing there looking her dead ass in the damn thing and I'm like trying to process the fuck she just said. And I'm like, I'm standing there and she walked away. My blood is boiling, boiling. Because I'm like, if I say something, it's gonna be me. That's the problem. And I know this because there was someone who spoke up about what she was doing and they got repercussions from it. Not her, they did. So when I saw that happening, I was just like, I, I'm done. I'm done. I didn't speak to that bitch the entire time after that. So we had scenes together and I never spoke to her. She said, she said to me, she could feel the energy coming off of me. She was like, are you okay? You haven't been talking. I'm like, mm-hmm. Cause bitch, don't play me. You've been playing mind games with everybody on the set and everybody's been waiting for the moment that you would get me. Now keep in mind that they're obviously shortened. You know, you gotta watch the whole thing, the whole live of what Angelica was talking about but these are some of the major pieces that we got so i just like to say that it really like all the fun is gone when the mean girl on screen is actually a mean girl in real life like <laughs> i don't care what y'all say like to me all the fun is gone show's over pack it up um and especially you being transphobic is just you know, of course, Angelica would have to face you weird transphobic people in the industry. Like, of course, her black trans woman self would have to be navigating the minefield that is the industry with y'all racist transphobes trying to walk all over her ass. And she said, it's not gonna happen. She's like, y'all got me, y'all got me good. Y'all stopped my Marvel bag. I was quiet about it. I shut up the hell up about it because I, I navigated it the best way I knew how. But now I'm going to run my mouth. And I'm glad that she is. I'm glad that she is. She said, now nah, I'm going to run my mouth. People been talking about Emma Roberts. So I'm sure there's some people who are not going to be that surprised. I mean, I remember years ago when she was arrested for domestic violence. And Evan Peters, her man at the time, was found with a bite mark and a bloody nose. So it's just like, the girls have been talking about her ass. And I'm sure in the industry, I, I can only imagine the rumors of what is known about Emma and her behavior, right? But Angelica said, you know what? Y'all thought y'all had me. Y'all tried to drag me. 
So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it so that you cannot ignore the fact that y'all asses are in the headlines. <laughs> y'all are in the headlines today. Apparently there was also a crew member on set who would wear racist shirts or something like that. That's what Angelica was saying. But the people, showrunners, whatever, acted like they didn't want to do anything about it because it was considered free speech or whatever. And so after a while, a person just gets fed up and... <laughs> Angelica decided that this week was the week that she was going for her mouth, and I'm very happy that she did. I'm very happy that she did. Um, apparently, Ryan Murphy has a history of protecting, you know, divas like that, Emma Roberts, <laughs> you know, protecting those kinds of personalities. I always get nervous when there's, how do I put this? When some white people make it their whole entire personality to this to be like oh yeah we're diverse oh we're you know we can do we could do this we could do we could be diverse meanwhile the the actors the black actors the trans actresses the minority employee whatever are having a shitty time on your set all that sh other shit that she was talking about don't it just goes out the window don't really matter like are you trying to actually change the industry with representation and actually get these people uh on screens in front of people's eyes so that they can you know, enhance their careers? Or are you looking for brownie points? Because ain't no way that y'all be patting yourselves on the back. I mean, even in an article, pat, patting yourself on the back, talking about diversity, talking about, you know, black this, trans that. When the black people, the black trans people, the minority employees are having a shitty time in, in your work environment. All that shit, all that grandstanding, all that patting yourself on the back shit goes completely out the window. Completely. And I'm glad that Angelica Ross decided to expose that ass. I think it's a very important point to bring up what Angelica said uh, when she got misgendered by Emma Roberts is that she saw that other people were being reprimanded. There were repercussions for other people uh, when they spoke out about the shitty behavior that Emma Roberts was, you know, displaying. She saw that other actors, whatever, got reprimanded. And so she was just like, I gotta figure, I gotta navigate this delicately. But she was just like, I did not speak to her for the rest of the <laughs> for the rest of the time that she was in my face. So, it is an important topic because there's so many black people, black trans people, black queer people who are it's already difficult to navigate any industry, the t the movie, Hollywood, whatever, music industry, any kind of industry as someone who is a part of a marginalized group. But I really think it's it's we got to expose the people who run around here smiling in your face about diversity and wanted to bring new diverse stories to the screen, but then treating the minority um, actors, actresses, whatever, employees like shit. Like we got to call them hoes out. And I just want to let people know that just because Ryan Murphy is a white gay does not mean that he is excused uh, for shit. <laughs> like, and at the end of the day, Angelica saw that she, as a black trans woman, was not going to be protected in the space. Like they're going to, they're going to pick the white girl. They're going to pick Emma, like they're going to pick Miss Emma. They're going to pick the other girls, you know, every single time. So she was like, shit, I'm going to say something about it. And, and I'm glad, and I'm glad that she did. Y'all need to put some respect on these talents, talented ass black trans women, black queers name. Y'all need to put some respect on these people. Cause it ain't nothing more dehumanizing than seeing, you know, these people who act like this go up, you know, in award shows, go up. Uh, in interviews and talk like, yeah, oh my goodness, I just, you know, diversity is so important. And, you know, we just got to give, you know, all these voices to the minority groups and da 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 it's, it's nothing more dehumanizing than watching your boss do that and knowing that they're treating you like shit behind closed doors. So I'm glad that she dragged it. And, 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 and Marvel, y'all need to call her back. Marvel, you need to call her back. I don't even care if Angelica Ross' superhero name going to be Miss Mamas or something like that, or that girl or something. Put her ass on the screen. Pay, pay the girls, get the girls working, and stop playing in my face. I want these white gays, I want this, like I want these personalities like Emma Roberts to stop playing in my face, please. And stop playing Angelica's too, girl. We, we're so tired, we're so tired. Thank y'all so much for watching. Do not hesitate to check out all the extra stuff I got for you in my description box. Love you so much and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.